Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be walking you through the basics of how to use the stopwatch function on your Garmin Instinct watch. Uh, the one thing I'll mention is this is the non-tactical version of the Garmin Instinct. I'm not real sure, I think the directions are going to be the same for the tactical version, but I've never had that watch, so I can't speak to that. But for the non-tactical version, um, this is going to be the directions you would want to follow. The other thing I'll mention is this is assuming that you're using the watch as delivered from Garmin that you haven't adjusted any of the hot keys on the watch. Uh, but if you've just received the watch and you're trying to figure out how to get to the stopwatch, this is gonna help you out, hopefully. So when the watch is facing you, you've got some buttons on the side, you've got two on this side, you've got three on this side. You're gonna press and hold the bottom button, which on the right-hand side, which is your set and your back button. And if you press and hold it, it's gonna take you into some different options. Now you're going to use the up or down button on the left-hand side. The menu button is going to be your up button, and the ABC button is going to be your down button. It doesn't matter which one you use. But all you're going to do is you're going to cycle through. I just passed it up until you see stopwatch. Once you get, into, uh, once you get to that screen, you're going to press the GPS button to select it, and now you're ready to start your stopwatch whenever you want to. So let's say you're, uh, you're out running and you're getting ready to um, take off. You're going to press the GPS button to start it. If for some reason you need to stop it, you're going to press the GPS button again and that will stop it. At this point, because you've got an actual time that's been stopped, you're also going to get the option to go into the options menu by pressing the up button over here. And I'll show you that here in a, here in a second. If you need to restart the time, let's say you just screwed up, you know, you took off and you forgot to put your keys up or something, you want to restart it, if you press the uh, ABC, which is your down button over here, it'll basically restart everything back to zero. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. Uh, at this point, you really can't press the back button to go back to the main screen. I'll show you why in a minute. You're going to see there's a little bitty uh, circle area down here showing that if you press this back button, it's going to do that. Let's say you've been running and you just finished your first lap. Basically, this button here, the, the uh, back button, your set button, when you press it, it's going to record the time for your first lap. So see how I pressed it? At 28 seconds, 28.98 seconds, that was my first lap. Now my stopwatch is still continuing to run, but now it's timing my second lap. So let's say you're running on a track. Now I've finished my second lap. I want to add my third lap. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to press the back button, and now you've got a third lap. You can use the up or down button over here to see your laps. So the first lap was 28 seconds. Second lap was 23 seconds. I'm on my third lap, which is still continuing. For the whole run or uh, activity, I'm at um, a minute and nine seconds. Once I'm done with my uh, stopwatch or my workout, can press the GPS button to stop it. At this point, I can either resume if I need to. I can restart everything by pressing the down button. Uh, sorry, to resume would be the GPS button. Or I can press the up button, which is over here, your menu button, and I can go into the options. I can review it. I can save it. Or I can basically just say I'm done. And that'll take me out of the stopwatch. At this point, I can press back, and I go back to the main screen. So that's a real quick uh, video. The one thing I'll mention is, since I've pressed and held the set button to get to the stopwatch, if I press and hold it again, it automatically puts me right back into the stopwatch because I haven't done anything since then. It's always going to remember the last place you were at. So for example, if I go to the alert section, and then I press back and go to the main menu, now, if I press and hold the set button, it takes me to alerts. So if I want to get to stopwatch, I'm going to have to navigate back to the stopwatch. But anyway, that's a quick video of how to use the stopwatch feature. I hope this helps. If you got any questions, put them in the video. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.